Hello guys, and, uh, this is literally the review of uh, <clears throat> what I think of the Sex Mankind Divided. The game. Now let's go through the bad things first. What I didn't like is the fact that the lip sync, the lip syncing was legit out of sync. It's point where it looks like it was just. Like not just moving his lips randomly to suit. I don't know if that was a coding. <coughs> I don't know if that was a coding issue or something that uh, the developers had. But um, I'm sure they didn't mean to have that kind of problem. <coughs> it's just something that happens. To be fair. So, um, I can't really fault them in that. It's probably a coding glitch that happened and they couldn't fix it. Maybe they discovered it too late. And to fix it, I think they've had to go into the actual game and go through it all. And to be fair, I don't think they'd be in the mood. I don't think they'd have the time to do that. Because to be fair, programming a game is fucking hard. I may be 18 and I don't haven't been in game developing, but I know for a fact it's not easy. To be fair, and that's just me. To be fair, if you know, what, if you know what I mean, it's just not easy. That's all I'm saying. Like another thing that I don't like about the game is the fact that the enemies and the fact that you can die really quickly. That's something I don't like. It's just too difficult sometimes to the point where I've had to actually use up all my energy in my augmentations to actually complete the damn game. <coughs> That's something I don't like, but I can't fault them on that. The, you can't make it too easy either. I only put it on the medium difficulty. Fucking hell, that's weird. I only put it on the medium difficulty, so... I can't fault them on that. Um, <clears throat> another thing is... Cool. Uh, another thing I didn't like was the... Um, so the actual missions, there's some missions that were just way too difficult to complete but I needed new augments and that but I didn't want to get new augments, I wanted to uh, like do something else I wanted to get a different augment but I was forced to use the practice kits which are very, very rare to get to uh, actually help I was thinking with the actual controls, you know what I mean the controls were a bit <clears throat> it also was a bit funky at times, if you know what I mean? It just wasn't all there, if you know what I mean. That shit. Oh well. Um, yeah, I think that's about it really. There's nothing too bad about the game. There's probably a lot of things I didn't like about it, but I'm not too I'm not too fussed to be fair, if you know what I mean. Uh, now to the positive things. What a shot that was. Right, the good things I like about the game. The first things first, the actual story. That OMG. Fucking fantastic. Oh, fuck's sake. How the hell? Yeah, this is another thing I don't like is the confusion that you sometimes get when you're panicking. I've learned that in the old game, but. The idea is just to remain calm and just figure it out. <clears throat> Another thing I loved about the game is the augmentations. The augmentations that you can get is absolutely fantastic. The new experimental logs and all that. I found that bloody fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Yay, leveled up. Oh, cool. Practice kit. Nice. Fuck off for a minute. I'm busy. Uh. I know that I like just the actual story. I think I already mentioned it. I cannot remember because I'm too busy trying to do this. Uh, that was good. I love the story. The one thing bad about it is it's a little bit short at times. And I wish you could now, meet up with Megan Reed again. Sweet. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, the game is fantastic. I love the story. The way it's, um, like. <clears throat> Ah, oh, sweet. But some booster packs contain Praxis kits. 
The points they provide are needed to unlock augmentations for your avatar. Nice. Um, I just, I like this, this, what I'm doing now, this is just fucking fantastic, I used to buy ourselves, uh, this game is legit brilliant, if you know what I mean, it's just nothing like it. The shop is where you can buy additional booster stocks to refill your reserve with weapons, ammo, and special items. Guys, fuck off, I don't care. Well, I've already got 10,000 back, well. Ugh. Oh, sweet. Yeah, this is nothing I don't like. This. It, making you pay. I'm, according to a lot of people, the developers didn't want to do that. All right, Ripper. Time to augment your avatar and make things more interesting. Cool. It's going to speak in the Oh, well, that's cool. Unlock the multi-jump up now. You're going to need it to complete the next level of server. Alright, that's cool. Huh, yeah, not too bad then, I like that. <laughs> um. Come on, the echoes dash for that. Another thing I like, this is literally it. It's, uh, this is what I like the breach. It's like you're a hacker, but it's so different. It's kind of like similar to what the fuck was that? Watch dog. Oh, that's cool. It's like a double jump. Oh man. Should have hoped it could like triple jump. Oh well. Nice. <clears throat> what I also liked was the fact that all the secrets you could find. There was like multiple secrets at the game. Like the uh fuck's sake. The game gave, you know what I mean? It's just all sorts of secrets. I am sure as hell I missed a lot of secrets. I don't even know where I'm going. <clears throat> I'm sure as hell that I've missed a lot of secrets that the game has yet to give me. All sorts, to be fair. I'm sure there is, don't get me wrong. I'm sure I'm missing that in a lot of stuff, but... But, uh... Unfortunately, I can't exactly, you know, go back and do it. That's not useful. I don't know where I'm going. <clears throat> I legit have no idea where I'm going right now. Oh. Dopa mm -hmm. dopa. That's fucking annoying. Anyway, uh, boop and boop. <coughs> Bit late fucking there. Oops. Ow. Um. Yes. The reason that I found good is the. Uh, oh. huh. It's all the way down there, isn't it? No, there's no way there. But go in. Faster, you fuck first. Oh fuck! <laughs> that was a waste of armor. Oh, this is an incredible waste of armor. Oh well. Ow! Fuck first. Uh, what I also liked some shit. I'm getting the fuck out of there then. <laughs> the thing I liked about the game was the, um, like the random stuff you could come across. But just by talking to random people just to see what they'd say, boom, that's it. You have a quest. That's something I love. Yeah. Anyway, give me that. <clears throat> that was another thing I liked, just the fact that you can just get random ones. And as well as that, there was a massive decision you had to make. It's just something that... Oh, wow, okay. 
modifiers, which can provide temporary advantages when raiding a server. Cool. Um, I think that's roughly about it. <clears throat> I would recommend this game. If someone asked me, would you recommend this game to somebody else? Hell fucking yeah. I can't use that what? Um, this game is beyond phenomenal. All types of orgs, all different new ones as well. There is a couple of things. I finished the game questions. I mean, how did Jensen get his augmentations? How, like, why would he, how come now he couldn't identify the augments? Like Sarah said, they couldn't identify him because somebody had switched out the augments, but, well, not switched out, I can't remember exactly what they said, but if they switched out the augmentations, then would that have killed him? Because all the augments, unless they scratched out the ID number, I think that's what they did when they added in the, uh, the fucking, uh, new augments, but what about the org specialist that you go to after the bobby? I reckon it was him. I don't know why, I don't trust him anymore. I think it was him that's missed the scratch out because he started overheating. You wake up and you find that you're overheating and your all continues to be reset. Was it him? Because it did put you to sleep to try and do something, but maybe it wasn't the fact that he was in Alaska in that camp. Maybe it was somebody else. Maybe Cyrus said it wasn't him. I don't trust him when he says that, but... Obviously, could not be him because why would he do that? It's like experimental orcs. Maybe it was the guy. Maybe it was the Alaskan people. It was this. Oh, hyperlink. Okay. Um, but maybe. Maybe uh, he did it. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, that's cool. <coughs> Allow you to do things you can never do otherwise. Just remember, each can only be used once. Of course. <coughs> I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna add that one. Wait, right, cool. I don't want to change it. That's pretty cool though. That's another thing I like about this game is that you can fuck with stuff. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's roughly about it. This game is beyond phenomenal. This, especially the breach, that's cool. The Jensen stories, that's also brilliant. The, um, the story mode, brilliant. The augmentations, absolutely fucking cool. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, there was a few bad things that kind of pissed me off during the game to the point where I had to actually do something else and it took time but hey presto, all games do that to me um, thank you guys for watching this review I give this game 8 out of 10 literally I would recommend this game if someone was stuck between oh I don't know if I should get Mankind Divided or a different game, I can't think of on the top of my head because what Stokes 2 I'm after as well. Yes, I will be recording it as soon as I buy it. It's uh, I'll have to wait to my next payday unless I have some spare money. But um yes, this game brilliant. Cannot deny it. They really did themselves just with the a couple of books here and there where you where you couldn't like you know die as quickly. That was kind of annoying. But um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this and you agree with anything I said, please leave a like. And uh, down in the comments down below, I'd like everyone to give me reasons why or how Jensen got them all. So there's a way of doing the story mode. Tell me how or just explain it to me. It doesn't really matter because I've completed the game anyway. And then um, I'd like to know how he got those experimental augments. Was it via Alaska? Was it via that... Uh, oil specialist that you go to after the bombing and to get the neurotransmitter calibrator, I think it was, to calibrate your orcs. Maybe it was him that implanted him because he was asleep and then suddenly your orcs started overheating. But before that, your orcs started malfunctioning. What caused it to malfunction? It can't not be the attack because technology, I know the body gets a shock, but that activates adrenaline. Why did the augments get affected? 
that's what I'm gonna know. Just let me know in the comments down below what you think, any conspiracies, and maybe, hell, we could even have a massive discussion about it. I think Square Enix did it on purpose, to be fair. I think they purposely left out certain little details for us to come up with our own conclusions. I know I did. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. The next video will possibly be Unity. I don't know, maybe a mission, maybe if the online wants to work. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. A universe pack. Let's see what's in here. Oh god, that's a lot. Sweet! Of course I can. Well, that's effectively useless. Oh, I like this though. <laughs> cool. I've got three of them. This is cool. Oh, yeah. I think I broke the game because I keep getting these. Oh, I like the stuff to be I keep constantly getting them. Speaking of fucking hell, never mind. Yeah, this will be at the end of the video. Um, one last thing before the video actually ends. But well, I do recommend this kind of game. It's something you cannot just play once. You have to go through it a few times. It's one of those games where you have to play multiple times to get everything, to be fair. This is the kind of game you play it once and just leave. This is literally a game where you, ha you have to play multiple times to figure out what you're doing or there's anything you missed. And then you're discovering later on in the game that you want to go back and have a look at. <coughs> so that's what this game is literally all about. You go through multiple times. Oh shit, this guy had kids. Oh well. There you go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this this is the kind of game that will take you loads and loads of playthroughs. Trust me on that. <laughs>